Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you where to find the WordPress header.php file where you can make the edits you need to make. I'm not gonna show you any edits to do in there because I have no idea what you're doing. And really, because you're in the PHP file, the ability to do stuff is pretty much limitless. So um, there's really not much I can show you because I have no idea what you want to accomplish. If you tell me what you need, you can comment in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out. But barring that, here's how you find the header.php file so you can make some edits. First, we log into the dashboard, then we go to appearance, and we click on editor. And I'm gonna press command F or control F and type in header.php. And we have the header file show up here. Click on that to load that file into the editor. And this is now all the PHP in the header file for the Aveda theme. And I can go in here, I can edit whatever I want. This looks very intimidating if you're not familiar with WordPress hooks, theme hooks, and PHP. So if you're not familiar with those, I don't recommend you mess around in here because one wrong move and the whole site goes down. So this really isn't a place to mess around if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, one drawback of using the editor like this is if you make a change and you save it, you can't undo what you did. So you either have to remember what you did and then change it back if it breaks something, or you have to go and download an original theme, a beta theme copy of the header file and look in there to see what the original should look like. A way to get around this is using an FTP client. So I have the site pulled up in FTP right here. If we go to the content folder, themes folder, a beta theme, and then find the header file and right click on it, I'm going to choose open with and then I'm using sublime text 2 as my default editor and here I can make a change for example if we go to the live site we see it loads just fine now if I go and I'm just gonna delete all of this save this file and this is gonna crash the site refresh this page and holy moly, that's not what the site should look like. And this can happen at any second when you're editing in the header file or any PHP file in the WordPress theme for that matter. So now is when the adrenaline kicks in a little bit panicked. If you're in the editor, in the theme editor over here, you have to know exactly what you took out. Otherwise you can't get it back very quickly. You can always download the original file, like I said, and find the original, but that might take too long. So instead, if you're, using, um, if you're using FTP and a text editor, I can just go to the edit menu, click on undo left delete. It puts all the stuff back, save the file, files uploaded again, refresh this page, cross my fingers, and everything's back to how it should be. So that's the benefit of using an FTP client. Even if you edit this file in the cPanel file manager, there is no undo command in most of those file managers. So if you make that change, you better know what you changed if, in case something breaks. I recommend you use an FTP client to do it. And I also recommend that you don't mess around too much in here unless you know what you're doing or you know the exact thing you want to do. For example, you might just be copying and pasting a uh, Google Search Console verification code meta tag in here. In which case you just go in here and Paste the meta tag. Let's pretend this is it. I just copied the one from below. Save the file, and then it's all good. You're not going to break anything by just adding meta tag, as long as as long as you don't interfere with any PHP commands. Uh, so simple changes like that, anybody can do. More advanced changes, do it only if you know what you're doing, and make sure you have a way to revert back to the a working copy if the site breaks. And that's where we edit the header.php file. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish more tech tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.